Cushing's syndrome is when clinical abnormalities occur due to excess production of cortisol. Signs and symptoms include weight gain caused by hyperinsulinism from hyperglycemia, insulin increases fat deposition. Fat deposition occurs in the face resulted round face, moon face, upper back, buffalo hump, and trunk, big abdomen, truncal obesity. Muscle weakness because cortisol breaks down muscles in the extremities, thin extremities. Degrading muscles supply amino acids, for example alanine, for gluconeogenesis, for creating glucose, which produces hyperglycemia, DM. Diastolic hypertension, caused by the increased production of weak mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, and insulin. Hirsutism and virilization are caused by increased androgens and insulin. Insulin increases androgen synthesis in the ovaries. Purple abdominal stria, stretch marks, excess cortisol weakens collagen, causing rupture of blood vessels in the stretch marks. Osteoporosis, hypercortisolism causes increased breakdown of bone. Cushing's syndrome may result from any cause of increased glucocorticoid levels, whether due to medication or internal processes. The most common cause of Cushing's syndrome is the use of prescribed glucocorticoids to treat other diseases, iatrogenic Cushing's syndrome. Glucocorticoids are used in treatment of a variety of disorders, including asthma and rheumatoid arthritis, and also used for immunosuppression after organ transplants. Cushing syndrome is called Cushing disease when it is caused by increased secretion of adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, from the anterior pituitary, secondary hypercortisolism. Most often as a result of a pituitary adenoma. Cushing's disease is rare. One case per million people per year. However, asymptomatic microautonomas, less than 10 mm in size, of the pituitary are found in about 1 in 6 individuals. Pituitary adenoma producing increased amounts of athleting. To excess production of cortisol by the adrenal cortex. Adrenal Cushing syndrome, accounts for 25% of cases of Cushing syndrome, most often caused by an adenoma arising in the adrenal cortex. Increase in serum cortisol causes a decreased synthesis and release of act by negative feedback. Ectopic Cushing syndrome, accounts for 15% of cases of cases of Cushing syndrome. Most commonly caused by a small cell carcinoma, SCC, of the lung secreting excess amounts of act, leading to excess synthesis and release of cortisol by the adrenal cortex. Less common causes include excess ectopic act production by the thymus, thymoma, and thyroid. Both plasma act and serum cortisol are increased. Pseudo-Cushing syndrome, elevated levels of total cortisol can also be due to estrogen found in oral contraceptive pills that contain a mixture of estrogen and progesterone. Pseudo-Cushing syndrome patients display the signs, symptoms, and abnormal hormone levels seen in Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome can be ascertained via a variety of tests which include the following. Dexamethasone suppression test. Saliva cortisol level. Treatment. If an adrenal adenoma is identified, it may be removed by surgery. Regardless of the adenoma's location, most patients require steroid replacement postoperatively. Most cases of Cushingoid symptoms are caused by corticosteroid medications. Most patients are effectively treated by carefully tapering off, and eventually stopping, the medication that causes the symptoms. People with Cushing syndrome live less than other populations. The main reason of death is cardiovascular disease. People with Cushing syndrome have nearly four times increased cardiovascular mortality as compared to the general population.